Okay, I swear I was going to do this yesterday, and then I completely forgot, so I'm going to do this today. And it's like 10 in the morning, so um, I'm mostly awake. Okay, so on Tuesday, um, the electro electronics board group, um, they wanted to put the battery in a specific location that was different from what they had before, so uh, they rearranged the electronics board to accommodate that. Um, the Infector group, they replaced, they, uh, was, uh, what happened was um, they had this uh, dumper, and it's like there's a bottom and then two sides, and what happened was the bottom uh, plate got cracked because um, because the, uh, they were using rivets to hold everything together, and the rivets uh, cracked the uh, clack the plastic, or it was acrylic actually. Um, so they had to get that fixed. Uh, they cut out another piece, and um, yeah. uh, the drivetrain group um, they cut out some star bar for the uh, motor frame. Let's see, I think that's what it's called. But uh, what it does is it's like um, it keeps it so that the motor the, the gearboxes are uh, better supported, so they don't uh, they don't bend the actual interior of the frame. Um, it goes across the uh, drivetrain and it holds them in place. So they got that cut out. Um, motor holes were uh, the uh, motor holes were drilled because the uh, motors from last week were only clamped onto the drivetrain, and then now. <clears throat> Since there are holes, um, everything can be bolted on, except uh, they had to reassemble the frame, except they never got to do that on Tuesday. Uh, Super Tester, the uh, build of materials is more or less finished, um, and then they worked on the user's manual, which is very important. Then uh, software discontinued with, uh, with uh, training and uh, debugging 2012. Uh, animation researched and uh, decided on a model type that, you go that they're going to do their safety animation on. So then on uh, Friday, the electrical the electronics board uh, they attach they fully attached the components. Uh, now they just need to wire everything. Uh, the end effector group uh, added like they finished riveting everything without the without the acrylic breaking. Um, except they need to sh work on the shooter CAD. And an actual and an actuation system. So, how is the shooter going to actually work? Um, so, the biggest question is: Are we using motors or are we using pneumatics? Um, so that's still being worked out. We're running out of time, though. That's not good. Um, <clears throat> our uh, drivetrain group. Uh, they just need to put one more motor on, uh, and then they'll completely be completely done. They had to. Uh, uh, they had to uh, rebuild the frame more or less because they messed up somewhere. Um, Super Tester Group, they continued working on the user's manual. Um, uh, that was about it. And then the animation group, uh, they figured out who is modeling what. Um, <clears throat> and then the uh, software group, uh, I think they actually got the 2012 code to work, which is good. Okay, oh, three and a half minutes. Okay, so uh, next week, um, what I think should happen, or what I think probably would happen is uh, electronics board needs to hopefully finish wiring everything. Drivetrain will probably get that last motor on, and then they can start integrating with the electronics board. Uh, end effector group, they're actually kind of far behind. They really need to get some stuff figured out. Um... Super Tester, uh, first fair is coming up in a couple of weeks, so uh, probably get some uh, sample electronics boards uh, actually made. I don't know if the parts have shown up. I don't know if the uh, parts have been ordered slash arrived, but um, that does need to start happening. Uh, animation is going to continue what they're doing currently. Uh, they should actually be fairly close to finished. And then uh, software, software just, oh god, software doesn't have a lot they need to do actually apart from just flat out training, so, actually, now that I think about it, if they started uh, writing code for the BunnyBot robot, then that would actually be quite helpful. So uh, that's about it. Um, 
Have a nice day. Uh, I hope your week's been great. Um, mine's, mine's been pretty awesome. Uh, right now, uh, it's fall. It's a beautiful fall day here in Oregon. Well, it's actually, it's not beautiful. It's, it's incredibly cloudy. Uh, it's beautiful for Oregon, let's put it that way. Uh, all the trees are turning orange and red, and it looks really nice. So if you have some time, you know, go outside, look at all the pretty trees and stuff. So.